This example shows you how to create and run SQL queries in GridGain. First, let's start a remote node. From my GridGain's bin directory, I'll run gg start and specify an example configuration file from my GridGain installation. We've got our node started. Let's start our favorite IDE. Here, I already have a Maven project with a GridGain dependency specified in the palm. Let's create a new class. I'm going to name it MySQL Query. We'll be creating an example that shows how GridGain allows you to execute distributed cache queries using standard SQL syntax. First, let's create a few inner classes that will act as entities like in any regular database. I'll create a class organization with ID and name as its attributes. Note that the fields are annotated with grid cache query SQL field annotation. Any field that will be referred in a WHERE clause or a JOIN statement must use this annotation. Also note that passing an index parameter with this annotation specifies whether the cache should maintain an index for this field or not. GridGain supports indexes on individual fields as well as group indexes on multiple fields. Let's create another class called Person. Like Organization class, fields in Person class are also annotated. Let's get an instance of Grid by starting a local node here to which we specify the same example configuration file that we had specified when we started our remote node. Then we get an instance of a replicated cache which is configured in our configuration file. Let's create a few organization objects and put them in the replicated cache. Let's create a simple SQL query to get all the organization data from cache. For this, we create a grid cache query instance and provide the SQL query to be performed on our replicated cache. We can now execute the query and obtain the result by calling the execute method on our grid cache query instance. Since executing the query returns a future, we must call get on it to synchronously wait for the query to finish executing. Note that in a replicated cache, queries are executed locally, since local node has the same data as remote nodes. Let's just print the result and execute. As expected, we see organization data retrieved from our cache. GridGain also allows you to perform SQL join queries. Let's modify our example to perform a simple join. Since organization data is already stored in a replicated cache, let's get an instance of a partition cache for storing person objects. We create a few person objects and put them in cache. Note that by allowing to do SQL joins between replicated and partitioned caches, GridGain automatically supports star schema out of the box. Here we have our dimensions, in this case organization objects stored in replicated cache, and our facts which are person objects stored in partition cache. You can also do joins between multiple partition caches, but in this case, join keys must be stored in a collocated mode. We now get an instance of grid cache query and provide the SQL join query to be performed on our partition cache. Note that since organization and person data are stored in different types of caches, we have to perform a cross cache query. For this, we have prefixed the class names with their respective cache names in our query. We can execute our query to get all person data where organization name is grid gain. Note that by calling future.next method, we are processing data as soon as we receive it and are not waiting for the full result to arrive. Let's run our example. As expected, we see two records of person where organization is grid gain. For more information, you can visit our website or join us at Twitter.